Imagine that you're a great transplant surgeon. You can transplant just about anything and do it successfully. You have five patients, two of whom need a lung each. That is, in the case of both of them, both of their lungs are going and they only need one each. Two of your patients need a kidney each. That is, both of them have both kidneys failing. You can get on with one kidney, so each of the two needs just one kidney. And the fifth needs a heart. If they don't get these parts, let's suppose, they'll all five of them die. Now, here's a young man who's just come into the clinic for his yearly checkup. He's a fine, healthy specimen. And lo and behold, he has just the right blood type to be of use. Can you cut him up and parcel out his parts to the five who need them? Five lives for one, after all. Well, I hope you'll agree that you can't do that. You must prefer letting your five patients die to cutting up the one who just came in for a checkup. All right, that's one trade-off case. Trade-off because the possibility here is gaining five lives for one. But here's a second trade-off case. It's a case that's adapted from an article by Philippa Foote. There's an out of control trolley speeding down the track. It's out of control, speeding down the track, and on the track ahead are five track workmen. Let's suppose the banks, the sides of the track are steep and they can't get off the track quickly whereas the trolley, in fact, is out of control and going very fast. Now, you're a bystander, but you know something about trolleys and about tracks. And in particular, you know you can throw the switch by the track, thereby turning the trolley off onto a spur of track on the right. That's all you can do, let's suppose. You can either do nothing in which case the trolley will speed on into the five, or you can turn the trolley onto the right-hand spur. Unfortunately, Mrs. Foote, whose case this is, has arranged for there to be one track workman on the right-hand track. And he can't get off in time either. So if you do nothing, five will die. If you turn the trolley, you'll kill one. Can you turn the trolley? Most people say you can. You can throw the switch and turn the trolley to minimize the damage the trolley will do. Again, a trade-off case, one life for five. Now, it's an extremely nice question, I think. What marks the difference between these two cases? Why is it that you can't cut up the man who comes in for the checkup and parcel out his parts to save five, but you can turn the trolley, killing one, to save five. It's a nice problem, and I'm not about to give you an answer. Uh, I think it's a handsome problem. The only thing I can give you is a name for it. I call it the trolley problem, in honor of Mrs. Foote's lovely trolley case. The nice thing is that, you know, you can map these trade-off cases onto, all of them onto trolley cases, literally trolley cases. I mean, we've got Mrs. Foote's original case. There's the trolley aiming at five. And you can turn it on to one. 
And I think everybody says you can go ahead. Some of my students say even more strongly that you must go ahead. I don't know if you must, but it seems to me you can. Now let's have another trolley case that's more like the doctor case, in which you can't go ahead. There's a trolley speeding toward five, and you're up on a little footpath over the track. And you know that there's a way to stop that trolley, to keep it from ramming into the five. You've got to drop a heavy weight in front of it. Now you're up there on the bridge and there's no heavy weight in sight other than a very fat man who's watching the trolley. The only sufficiently heavy weight is the fat man. Can you push him off the bridge into the path of the trolley? Here I think flat out no, be like cutting somebody up. The doctor case maps on to the trolley with the fat man to be pushed off the bridge. You can't do it. Neither case can you go ahead. But you can turn that trolley onto one. Why in the one trade-off case can you go ahead and in the other not? I think that's one of the prettiest going problems in ethics. Uh, yeah.